Can you really have too many camera bags? Oh. Alright, now I got that fixed. Um, I got something in the mail today. This I've been waiting for for doesn't seem like that long. Um, the last version took a long time, as most of you know, but um, let's just dive right into it and then we can kind of talk about it. I want to start with, this is just going to be an initial unboxing and thoughts video. I'll probably make another video down the road about um, an actual review, just because I want to get some use out of it before I actually review something. Um, this is the new Nomadic and Peter McKinnon camera bag. It is the Luma collection. Um, looks like we got some extras right there. This is another extra. Receipts. I ordered all three versions. We'll start from the smallest and work our way up. I assume this is the smaller one. This is the 9 liter sling. They always come in these bags. Every version has come in a bag. These ones don't have the skull on them like the other ones did. But that's fine. I opted for the black just because everything else I have is black and it's just a little less in your face, a little more um, inconspicuous, I guess. Um, got a nice little Luma tag here. Um, there's a zipper on the top. Put some smaller stuff in. These are a little more um, rigid than I expected, which I like. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but my favorite part about the last bag is how rigid everything is, and I was worried these ones weren't gonna have that same kind of feel and just be as sturdy. Um, opening the top, you can already feel the magnets. Get rid of those. So these have quick snap so that, that doesn't fall open. Zipper on the top. Put some accessories in there. It's got a little divider and then two dividers on the inside. So like this one I'll probably use um, for like shorter days. Like the zoo, I usually take the old version with me. Right now my gimbal's in here just to make it easy to transport and not take up space in my everyday bag. Um, but I use that one a lot for like zoo and random little trips where I just have like a camera body and some other stuff. I anticipate this one taking that place, potentially. Um, so far, I'm pretty stoked on how everything feels and the quality is. We'll set that one to the side and we'll move on to the slightly bigger sling. This one is 12 liters. Um, to be fair, when I backed this, I thought I could adjust my pledge and maybe only get one of the slings, but I could not. So, I don't know if I'll really need both of these. This is a very similar bag, just bigger, which maybe this one is just for a little bit longer days where I have more stuff to carry with me. It has the same zipper pocket on the top. This one has a little bit beefier strap than the other one does, I suppose, since it carries more weights. Same magnets. Same zipper up here with a divider and just deeper space. So this one next to this one is quite a bit bigger actually. So this one maybe fits a camera body, a lens, and a drone. 
I could anticipate fitting all that in here. Um, same old for all thoughts. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. to the main now to the main thing we're all here for same zipper bag okay the Luma 18 liter shit is it 18 liters 18 liters um this bag the way I take it isn't an upgrade from the last two. It's not a downgrade, it's a stripped back version. The other bags are pretty expensive and they have a lot to them. They hold a lot, there's a lot going on. This is kind of just a simple camera bag, um, which I think I'm into because I'm trying to not carry as much shit with me every day becomes overwhelming having a fanny pack, a camera bag, all these things with me. So I'm hoping that this maybe slims that down because it is slightly smaller. It's only like the old one's 25 liter, this one's 18 liter. This one, the new one is slightly skinnier. That's a thing. Let me, my old one's sitting right here. Let me zip it up so it doesn't fall. <laughs> Here's the old one. This is the everyday bag. Um, I use this every day, literally every single day. This is with me. Laptop camera. Coffee bottle still in here from this morning. Every day this is with me. I'm actually pretty happy with this bag. I had no reason to get the new bag. This one's held up great. Um, I am a huge fan of the cube divider system in this one. I have two of these small ones and the big one. I use that almost every time I go on a shoot specifically for what I'm shooting. I change out the cubes. That is one thing I'm not so sure on with this one because I like it so much. But in the attempt to simplify things I, I was willing to give this one a try plus having a smaller bag on my back every day sounds nice there's also another point of this bag that I deeply care about which I'm gonna start with so we have the zipper we have the zipper for the laptop right here which is on the top which for me makes a difference because on these ones it's on the side and I'm a dad I have lots of going on and half the time leave for work late so sometimes I put this in here and I don't zip it actually two times that's happened to me and it's fallen out so my last two laptops I've had matching corner dents from hitting my tile floor in my basement. So having top access really intrigued me. 13 inch MacBook Pro slides right in there. And if I forget to zip that, it's not gonna fall out when I throw this bag on my shoulders. Um, that's a huge thing for me. Move on to the next pocket, which is up here on the front felt lining sunglasses phone wallet that's probably what i'll put in there um, and then similar to the everyday bag we have like the the loft i guess which might fit this camera with a smaller lens but it will not fit my 24 to 70. Um, but like everyday things could probably sit up here um, Another thing that they did add to this one that the last one did not have is the side access, which I did use on the 35 liter. I, believe it or not, daily carried this bag from the day it delivered 
to the day that this one finally delivered, the 20, the everyday bag, which was late by a year. So this one got heavy use as well, but the side access on this one got use. Well, not this one specifically, because this one's been replaced with a warranty. I broke some of the zippers on it. Um, but sign access on this was used all the time. And it's something I kind of missed on the everyday bag. So now we have that back, which kind of excites me. Um, we have the same water bottle uh, magnetic pocket that every other bag has had. This one seems a little less uh, protrusive compared to the 25 liter. On the 25 liter, if you have both of those out, it gets a little um, Buzz Lightyear-ish. If you have the tripod in one and a water bottle in the other. So on this one, the water bottle will go on just one side and then they include this little foot here for your tripod feet to go into. And then somewhere in here, there is a strap, which I already ordered. I did order extra of, I don't know where the strap is, here it is. So you loop this strap on here somehow. And that's what keeps it, your tripod there. I don't know if I love that or not, but at least there's somewhere to put it if I have a water bottle with me and a tripod. Um, this bag, again, feels way more rigid than it looked in all of the promo goods or all of the promo videos and all of the stuff I've seen online. So that excites me because I like how rigid the other two bags are. Um, but anyway, into the inside. My laptop's still in here. We got this large zipper mesh pocket. This seems like a better fabric than the last ones. Um, the last ones, they, the fabric gets kind of ripped up over time. This one seems a little bit more dense top one separated by a divider but two pockets there and then we got here the inside plenty of space my issue will be finding a layout that works for me daily with a minimal carry because this is a lot of space when I usually only carry like camera one to two lenses um, some mics and then I usually have one of these accessory cases in here so maybe this one fits right here maybe that's where that goes seems like it'll fit good but anyway um i will get some use put onto this bag and then get some uh final thoughts put in and i'll actually review it so far i'm stoked on it peace out